Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Nadia and this is the place where we get real. And today I'm getting real about how to make your periods go away faster because we've all been there. You've got your period and you need it to like be gone already. Maybe it's because you're about to go on a holiday or you're about to spend the night with a new person or it's just inconvenient. Whatever the reason, these hacks are going to help you make your period come to an end faster. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you keep on watching. Welcome back to my channel. Are you serious with me? Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> I don't understand how these things always happen to me. So periods can be a real pain in the butt. They can really stop us in our tracks, make us feel just awful, just tired and crampy and bloated and gross. And sometimes we just need them to go away. We realize that periods are a miracle. They can be amazing things. They are a sign that our bodies are capable of bringing life into the world. But at the same time, sometimes you just want your period to like be gone. Bye, bitch. Bye. It's been nice knowing you. See ya. Don't want to be ya. And unfortunately, while we can't really control when in the month our period happens, we do actually have some control over how long our period lasts for. There are actual things you can do that can help to speed up your period so that it finishes faster. So with no further ado, let's get straight into hack number one. This one is more of a long-term strategy. If you tend to have long and quite heavy, painful periods and you can start an exercise routine and particularly when you pair that with eating really healthily and cutting out all the sugar and junk food and particularly cutting down on things like alcohol and caffeine, you can over time help your body to produce lighter, faster periods because it's going to help to naturally balance out your hormones. Our hormones are always happier when we are living healthier lifestyles. So the healthier you can get in your lifestyle, the better your period is going to be. Now that said, if you do practice a really healthy lifestyle where you exercise and you eat well, and it's something you've been doing for a long time and you're still having really long, super heavy and super painful periods, then it's definitely worth speaking to your doctor because that's definitely not normal. Periods are supposed to be a bit uncomfortable and they are supposed to last for anywhere up to a week. But if it's going longer than that and it's hurting like hell, it's generally a sign that something is up and you might have an underlying health condition like endometriosis or even PCOS. So just go and pay a visit to your doctor and ask them to actually check your hormone levels so that you can make sure that there's nothing else affecting it. A really quick and easy way to help your period finish faster is around the time your period is due, start dosing up on vitamin C. And I'm talking high levels. Taking a single capsule isn't really gonna do a lot for your period. You need to be having really high doses of it. Now, you don't wanna be having so much of it that you're running to the bathroom with diarrhea because that can happen when you take too much vitamin C. It's happening, it's happening. It happened. It happened. But it's definitely safe for a couple of days at least around your period to just take a higher dose than you normally would. So if you normally take one vitamin C tablet, just take two in those days around your period. I do wanna stress that I am not a doctor. This is just anecdotal advice. This is stuff that has definitely worked for me and that I know has worked for other women as well. So when in doubt, speak to your doctor first. But a high dose of vitamin C can help to shorten your period. And that's because vitamin C can help to reduce your progesterone levels more quickly. And when your progesterone levels drop, your uterine lining is able to break down faster. And that means your period is going to come faster and it's going to finish faster as well. I love this tip because it's actually a fun tip and I really enjoy doing this. Raspberry tea tastes delicious. 
So it's just an easy one to do to start drinking now. There are no bad side effects to drinking a whole bunch of raspberry tea. So you can start having it a couple of times a day. And when you drink raspberry tea, it's thought that it can help to reduce the length and the heaviness of your periods because raspberry tea is very high in tannins. And those are thought to help basically strengthen the uterus and the muscles around it and in turn reduce heavy bleeding and also reduce cramps so definitely give that one a go if nothing else you have a delicious drink out of it I have not personally tried this one but I have girlfriends who've tried it and who absolutely swear by it so go and get yourself a box of delicious raspberry tea and start drinking it a couple of times a day in the lead up to your period and see how it works for you Tampons can honestly be lifesavers. It's always good to have one on hand, particularly if you're planning on going swimming or you just don't want a big bulky pad in your underwear all day because that can be uncomfortable. Unfortunately though, tampons can sometimes make your period last longer than it needs to because they can kind of clog up your menstrual flow. They're essentially putting a plug in there to block the blood from coming out and that can lead to a little bit of clotting that can just slow down that flow. So if you want to actually speed up the flow, but you don't want to have a bulky pad in your underwear all day, try switching from a tampon to a menstrual cup. Menstrual cups are so great because they're really environmentally friendly. You only need to buy one that's going to last you for ages and you just keep re-washing it and reusing it. So it's also not only good for the environment, but it's good for your bank account because you don't have to keep buying a new one every single month. And it also allows you to actually see how much blood you're losing during the month so that you can actually see how heavy or light your period is. Now the average period is usually just a couple of tablespoons. So if you're finding that you're losing a lot more than that, it's definitely worth speaking to your doctor about it and just checking that there's not something else going on that's causing your periods to be especially heavy because especially heavy periods can most definitely be a sign of endometriosis. So do go and get that checked out. But otherwise, if you're just wanting to speed things up, ditch that tampon, swap to a menstrual cup and you should be able to shorten your flow by at least a day. This is probably my favorite tip because hello, we all like to have an orgasm and orgasms feel amazing. Oh, yes, 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 yes. What orgasms also do is they help ease period cramps because orgasm produces all of these amazing feel-good hormones that relax all of our muscles and so cramping and pain is eased. And in relaxing our muscles down there, they also help to speed up the flow and get that period blood out faster. And good news, there's no limit on how many orgasms you can have during your period, so have as many as you want to speed things on up. Now, if you're trying to make your period start faster, whether that's for the very first time or whether that's just because you need your period to hurry up and happen so it can hurry up and be over so you can go on that holiday or go on that date or whatever it is you've got planned. I also made a whole video on ways to get your period super fast, like get it overnight so you can just get it done with. So I will link that video up here so that you guys can go and check that out. And I've got lots of other videos on this channel on periods and women's health, sex, masturbation, things that gals need to know about, but that we just don't talk about enough. This is a place to find that info out. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new here, so you can stay up to date with all of my period and sex related videos. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I really hope these tips help you out. I will see you all in the next video. Mm.